Okay, everybody, thanks for coming back to Red Rover and checking in. Hey, uh, I'm going to show you something about an air handler today in a low static uh, sensor that we had to put on for the fire marshal. But first of all, let's look at this. So we're in kind of like a little two TV uh, uh, studio, and they got all their cameras here, of course, as you can see. And then they got their desk here where the anchor is set. So I thought maybe I just might jump over here just real quick. Let me just see how I look over here. All right, there we go. Okay. Of course, I don't have my anchor with me, but uh, let's send it back out to you, John. No, anyway, thought I'd try my hand at it. I know it's kind of cheesy, but uh, anyway, let's get back to what we're looking at. <laughs> right. Okay, let's get in here real quick. And I'll show you what this little air handler in here, what we're doing. So, uh, as you can see on the panel here, here's the panel. And, uh, what the fire marshal wanted us to do is to run a 24 volt signal, as you can see. I put a little note on it, 24, I don't know if you see it, 24 volt through. Let me spin that around for you. Smoke detect, smoke to actuator. Okay, so that's gonna tell you that we've got 24 volt right here going to the smoke detector, which is right over here. And what I did was, is I just went ahead and as you can see, I put a note on there. We try to put notes on everything. Uh, 24 volt through this smoke to the damper actuators. So that 24 volts comes down through the damper, through the smoke detector here. And then it goes up to the actuator. So that's a return air actuator. And as you can see, the relay is on because the smoke is not fired. So that's the uh, return. And then the outside air damper is up there on the other side of that wall. But anyway, so as our 24 volt comes through the smoke detector and goes to them relays to fire 24 volt to the to the actuators, uh, then that of course keeps them open unless this fires and we've got it through a normally uh, closed set of contacts right here as you can probably see. So if it alarms, it'll open that up, kill the power to the actuator and it will shut the damper so that uh, we can't spread uh, any airflow or smoke or anything in the building. Now, when that trips, when this trips, the smoke detector, <clears throat> we've also wired in, uh, I don't know if you can see it, let's see if we can get up there. It's, it's a fan, low static, let's get over here, sorry about that. Low static cutout, so if this smoke detector trips, it kills the power to them outside air damper and the return air damper actuators and they go closed we can't just have this fan running and sucking this ductwork you know you can't just suck the ductwork in and and um, and then maybe possibly do uh, damage to the ductwork or even to the uh, to the motor that's in here so fan motor so what we have here is this low static cutout so uh, as the uh, as we start to suck in then this thing will actually trip on low static and it will kill the fan so that uh, we don't just keep sucking in that ductwork. So uh, anyway, and then what you would have to do to make this all come back up is, first of all, you'd have to see what the smoke fault was, reset the smoke detector. Then after you do that, you can reset the unit with here. This is that little black button right there on the box and the low static is just a uh, reset on it. So, Anyway, quick overview of that. Uh, and then in the panel, of course, we try to label everything and keep stuff labeled so that we can come back and look at it. But uh, anyway, so into that right there. Okay, good deal. So I want to show you something else in just a minute. I want to go outside something really interesting. But uh, anyway, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Let's get outside so I can show you something really cool. Uh, that I'm interested in, and you probably are too. It's uh, just some high voltage up on a pole. I'm going to show you some of the gates, but anyway, be with you in just a minute. All right, so we've come outside, and uh, I wanted to show you something like I was talking about earlier, but <clears throat> something kind of neat. So, as you can see here, I've got a power pole here, and you can see the the uh, high voltage coming in here feeding over to uh, these uh, bigger 
wires coming down through the feed here and then they're going to go to each building and probably feed a transformer but what's most interesting here is that look at uh, look at how small that wire is it comes in and feeds through the gates uh, or the fuse gates and uh, feeds that bigger wire uh, just a lot smaller wire so I'm not sure what voltage is on that high voltage side you know I want to say I, I really don't know 7500 maybe maybe somebody can tell me but it's just a feeder coming down in and then it'll come down and it will actually just go down and feed uh, transformers here in, in this different building so but you can see that bigger wire there and then uh, it's just got that little that little dinky wire it looks no more than like about a I don't know what that is maybe four I don't know comes down into those gates but that just shows you what uh, uh, what higher voltage and you can use Ohm's law to be able to uh, check to see what uh, uh, what kind of voltage and what kind of wire size you need but pretty interesting so I thought I'd show you that real quick uh, just really interesting uh, it is we don't we don't deal we don't deal with high voltage or medium voltage very much uh, as a matter of fact at all we just uh, pretty much uh, just stay on low voltage but just wanted to show you that so anyway appreciate you watching and uh, just wanted to show you that and uh, Thanks for watching and please subscribe and uh, appreciate you uh, checking in and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. See you.